Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to color your artwork using Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now the techniques I'm going to show you, you can use any version of Photoshop you'd like. This is just one way to color your artwork. Now what you want to do is capture your artwork using a digital handheld device or digital camera and get that onto your computer. Once you get that onto your computer, you want to open it up in Photoshop and here's how to do it. You open up Photoshop, go to File in the top menu bar, select Open. And from here, you want to navigate to where you saved your photo from. Select that image and select Open. From here, your image should appear on your Photoshop workspace. Now, what you want to do from this point is turn your image into a black and white photo. So to do that, you want to go up to Image, Adjust, and Hue and Saturation. From here, you'll see in this menu area, Saturation Bar. I'm going to select that little toggle and pull that all the way to the left until it says minus 100. Select OK. From here, now you want to increase the contrast between the black and the white just to get a clear image. So you can do that by going up to Image, Adjust, Levels. From here, you want to start to slide these little toggles until you get the right balance of black and white. So I recommend starting from the left point here in the black and dragging that over to the right until you start to see your image get a little bit darker. From here, select the center toggle. This is your midpoint. Slide that to the right until the image gets even a little bit more darker. And then the far right toggle, this is your brightness level. This is the white. You want to pull that over to the left to get rid of any sort of grainy noise inside the white area. Select OK. Now that you have a clean black and white image, you want to select the entire image by going up to Select All. This will select your entire image, and what you want to do is you want to copy this by going to Edit, Copy. From here, go over to the right side panel here. This is where your layers, channels, and paths are. Select the center toggle called Channels. Go down to the bottom, and you'll see a little, little image that looks like a piece of paper with a fold on it. Select that to create a new layer channel. And you want to paste your image right into here by going up to Edit, Paste. Now that you have your image in a channel layer, you want to deselect this by going up to Select, Deselect. Now from this point, because it's a channel, you want to invert this. So you want to turn the whites to black and the blacks to white. So to do this, go up to Image, Adjust, and then Invert. So now you'll see it's the opposite. It's almost like a negative of your photo. Go back up to your channel layers on the right panel here and select the RGB channel just to go back to your original image. Go up to Layers, so you go back to your working layers. Now from here you want to fill your entire image white. And to do that you want to make sure that the bottom, this is your toolbar, you want to make sure your bottom palette here that the white and black is shown on the bottom as seen here. Go up to Edit and Fill. You want to make sure that the contents is using the foreground color. So select this Use foreground color and select OK. From this point now you want to create a new layer with just the black outline of your artwork. So to do that go back to your layers panel, go down to that little new layer icon and select a new layer. So you create a new layer up here so you'll see above the background layer you have a layer 1. From here you want to add your black outline to this layer. So go up to select, load selection at the bottom, now from here under Channels, you want to select the channel that you saved your artwork to. So select this and select Alpha 1. Click OK. You see this little outline of your artwork. And now you want to fill this with black. So go back up to Edit, Fill, and now from here you want to switch it. You want to go to Background Color. So it's selecting the black. Click OK. Now go up to Select and Deselect. Now it looks like the original image that you put in but it's actually transparent. So if you go to the Layers panel here, click off Background, you'll see this checkerboard pattern behind your artwork. That means there's nothing in behind. Now from here, you want to select Background, and again click and select a new layer in between your Background layer and your Line Work layer. So if you go to Layer 1, click on and off with the little eye icon, go up and down, and you'll see that it's on a separate layer. Select Layer 2. This is where you're going to input all your color. Now going back up to Layer 1, I want you to select your Magic Wand tool. So in your toolbar, you'll see this little Magic Wand tool. Select it. 
Now go in and find the areas that you want to color first. So from here, I want to color her skin. So I'm going to select the skin area, holding down the shift on your keyboard to select multiple areas. Select the top of the forehead, the ears, the neck, and I'm going to save the fingers for later because it's a little bit smaller. And then from here, you can fill it in now, but what will happen, I'll show you what will happen if you just fill it in from this point. Select your layers, go down to your toolbar, select that white palette. Now from here, you want to select a color that's similar to the skin color that you want. So I'm just going to drag this down, selecting a color somewhere around here, and select OK. Now you want to fill this with that skin tone. Go to fill, select back up to foreground color because it's in the foreground. This is the background, the black. Select OK. Now go back up to select and deselect. Now you'll see if I zoom in, you get this little halo around your color. So it's not perfectly up against the black. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo this by going back to my history. Let's go back. Now I'm going to select that again. So using my magic wand tool, I'll go back, select the forehead, the face, the ears, and the neck. Now I want to sort of bleed this underneath the black. So I'm going to go up to select, modify, and expand by one pixel. Select OK. Go back to layer two, click OK or edit, fill with the foreground color and OK. Now if I deselect that and zoom in, you'll see that it's nicely tucked in underneath the black layer. Okay, so let's continue by going down to the fingertips. I'm going to use my magic wand tool again, making sure that I select layer one. This is my outline layer. And you can always relabel this by selecting the layer one, double click, and just type in line art. Go back to the magic wand tool, select the fingertips, holding select to select multiple areas. Select the legs. And then again, going to select, modify, expand. Expand by one pixel and OK. Go back to layer two. This is my color. Go to edit, fill, foreground color, OK. Now let's go ahead and des deselect that. Now if I zoom back, you'll see that all our skin tones are filled with the same color. Now if you want, you can create multiple layers for different color paths. So here on layer two, I'm going to double click this and label it skin. Let's go ahead and color the hair in. So I'm going to create a new layer by going down here, creating a new layer above the skin. It doesn't really matter if it's above or below the skin there. You could grab these and just pull them down if you like. I'm going to double click this and label it hair. Now I'm going to go back to my line art, select my magic wand tool and start selecting the hair. Leaving that little gap in between here. And I think I've got all the hair areas. I'm going to go to select, modify, expand, expand by one pixel, OK. I'm going to go down to the hair and then I'm going to go back to my palette here, select the top foreground layer and I'm going to create, I'm going to choose a, a hair color that sort of matches what her hair color actually is. Select OK, go to edit and then fill. Fill with foreground color, OK. Select, deselect. Now you got my hair and my skin. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to go back to line art. Now I'm going to color in her shirt. Now her shirt is sort of like a magenta color. So I'm going to go back to my foreground there, select that, go up towards sort of between my reds and my pinks, and select sort of a medium magenta color here. I'm going to adjust this a little bit, go more towards the red, go up a little bit, and select OK. Select my magic wand tool, and now I'm going to select the sweater color, so the sweater areas. Holding down my shift, selecting all the areas of my sweater, and then I'm going to go select, modify, expand. You can see that I'm just repeating every step, everything that I want to color in. Go to skin in my layers panel, create a new layer, and then I'm going to go to edit and fill. Foreground color, OK. Let's go to select, deselect. I'm going to repeat this step until I have all the colors blocked in on my character. I'm going to go back up to line art. Now I'm going to start doing all the little details in the sweater. Using my magic wand tool, I'll select the star, which is yellow. Go to select, modify, expand by one. Now I'm going to go down below my layer uh, one. 
or just above my layer one, create a new layer, and this is for the details. I'm going to double click this and call it details. I'm going to select a yellow color. So I'm going to go back to my palette here, select it, drag my little color wheel down to yellow, and select sort of a nice yellow, maybe make it a little bit more orange. Go OK, edit, fill with my foreground color, OK. Let's go ahead and deselect that. Now I'm going to start filling in the rest of the rainbow beside the star. So on the top, I'll select the top one first. Oops. Let's go ahead and line art. Select my top first. Select, modify, expand by one pixel. OK. Now this is like a purple color. So I'm going to go select somewhere around here. Click OK. Go back to my details layer. Go up to edit, fill, foreground color. OK. And deselect that. Go back to my line art layer, have my magic wand selected, select the center, select, modify, expand by one pixel, OK. Go back to my details layer, and then in the palette, I'm going to select a sort of greenish blue color, somewhere around here, select OK, and then making sure that I'm on my details layer, go to edit, fill, foreground color, OK, and deselect that. Line art, using my magic wand tool, select in the bottom area, select, modify, expand by one pixel, OK. Selecting back to my details layer, now I'm going to select a color that's like orange. So I'm going to slide this down to the orange area, crank this up to the top, select OK, edit, fill with my foreground color, and then deselect. I'm going to go back to my line art layer. So this is just a repeat. So selecting the line art layer, selecting it, expanding it, and then filling it into the appropriate layer. So with the skirt, I'm going to make sure I'm on my line art layer. Select the skirt, go to select, modify, expand by one pixel. OK. Now I'm going to create a new layer. So above the details, I'm going to create a new layer by selecting the new layer icon. And then here, I'm going to select a color. Now, the color of the skirt is pretty much the same color as this purple on top of this little rainbow. So I'm going to select this palette. I'm going to select that purple and click OK. So here, I got my skirt layer, which I'm going to rename skirt. And then I'm going to go to edit and then fill. Select OK. I'm going to deselect that. And then the final part are her braces. So I'm going to go back up to line art. I'm going to select one brace on the left, holding down my shift and selecting the other two. Go up to select, modify, expand, expand by one pixel. And again, on the skirt, I'm going to select the skirt layer, create a new layer above it. I'm going to go to my palette, select that purple and drag over to a gray area. So like something like that, a medium gray. Click OK, edit, Fill with my foreground color, select OK, and deselect that. And if I zoom out, that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's how to color using Photoshop CS6. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.